Recently, on the My Little Pony Analyze site, there was a post by Nozovix in which she asked about our hopes and fears about the future of the show. So I moved this topic to the top of my list. Sorry I didn't answer directly, but this video was planned a long time ago. There's a lot of things I want to see in the show and a lot of things I don't want to see. But what is the worst possible thing that could happen to the show? Of all the worst things that could happen, this is the worst of things! Important to the show, not in the show. So love triangle between Queen Crestless, King Sombra and Nightmare Moon, with Discord as a pet, is not what I'm talking about. Surprisingly, more Equestria Girl movies or animated series is not the worst I came up with. The worst possible thing. That could happen to My Little Pony, I can put in two words. Wings Club. If that's your kind of entertainment, let me say I just really, 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 really dislike it. But if you enjoy both series, you should be more concerned about this than me. You don't need two series of the same kind, and the threat is certainly serious. For those who are unaware of the show, it's a show about six girls in a magical land, all have boyfriends, and all have magic abilities. It's actually a mashup between a magical girl anime and Harry Potter. Those girls pretend like they have personality, but they don't have. They are just a foil for each other. The seasons are all the same. A new threat and they need a new power up for their abilities. Those abilities come with a new custom, so they can sell more dolls of it. Even so, this looks like a rainbow vomit about the main six. I don't mind a magical girl animation style. I just hope they don't go the road of Wings Club. With each season a new appearance, just to sell my dolls. With announcement of 5 more years My Little Pony Entertainment and Franchise, they did not only destroy the tension, if there will be more seasons, they also bring themselves on a pretty damn stupid position. My Little Pony is a moral based show. If they don't want to change this, they have to come up with at least 65 new morals. All the main 6 have to relearn everything again. And again. And again. Yeah. Nikki V MLP brought out a good point for season 4 changes, but it makes me worry about the future. However, I believe that this change was not only for the better, but it was almost necessary. What would you say the original target demographic of the show was at the start of the series, not taking the bronies into account? 6 to 10? Well that was more than 3 years ago, and those 6 to 10 year olds are now 9 to 13, almost completely out of the original age range. I remember reading a really good post relating to this on the MLP Analysis Reddit board, which I'll link in the description. But basically, the show is maturing alongside the original target demographic. The creators of the show know what they're doing. They if they keep up with the maturing alongside the target demographic, the last season would be for 13 to 17 years old. Ages that doesn't have anything in common. And not only this, the topics would be those of teenagers. This would turn the main six from being young adults to teenagers just to fit in. Once again, sounding more like Wings Club than My Little Pony. It would be the end of the role model position for the main six. No offense, Sugar Cube, but it looks like some ponies getting themselves all worked up over nothing. This is not nothing. This is everything. This was a pretty constant look in the future of My Little Pony. Is this video? Find this way somehow to the producers and the creators. You can't put anything together and make it cute. Sweets don't make everything okay. You should know. You came up with it. Ew, what is this? Cotton candy? Eternal chaos comes with chocolate rain, you guys. Chocolate rain! Of course, there are ways to avoid this terrible fate. The easiest way? A new main 6. So they can use all the old morals again. First I thought we get an introduction of the new main 6 in season 4. Coco Pomel, Spitfire, but then Kane's Cheese Sandwich. That Weird Al becoming a permanent voice actor for My Little Pony is very 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 unlikely. Not impossible, but we shouldn't count on it. 
and then I noticed my hope of the future of this show. Something introduced in the very first season. It can keep up with all the difficulties I pointed out earlier. How about the Cutie Mark Crusaders? It's perfect! This is gonna be so We're gonna be great. unstoppable! With the elements of Harmony back in the Tree of Harmony, there is no need for a new main 6. It can be also a main 3. But if they want a main 6. The CNC becoming teenagers. Having the main 6 as role models, as idols, can learn the lessons of the main 6 in a different way. Can encounter all teenage problems on their way. Oh yes, and Hasbro can sell teen CMC figures 